What I'm doing today is called Beware That Girl. So it was marketed as uh, for fans of We Were Liars, The Girl on the Train, and Gone Girl. This powerful psychological thriller with multiple mysteries is set against the backdrop of mega wealthy elite of New York City. Now, in my opinion, Beware That Girl should not even be mentioned in the same sentence as Gone Girl. Who is this writer? Teresa Toten. Um, let's check out what her like bio is. Teresa Toten. My earliest and most fervent ambition was to grow up and take my rightful place among the other mermaids. That's her first line of her bio. Yeah, please do go jump in the ocean and drown because this book was terrible. I mean, it looked like it was good. It was marketed really good, especially like being mentioned in the same lines as Gone Girl and like Girl on the Train. But the writing was lazy. The character development was subpar. I didn't relate to anybody. I couldn't even care about anybody. When it got to the intense scenes of like violence and stuff, it was just like she tried to pack some action in there just to make it have something. Um, um, I pretty much could tell what the twists were gonna be the whole entire time. The twist at the end was like, are you kidding me? Come on, dude. How many times have we seen a book written about rich white girls going to some prep school and there's like mean girls and nice girls and people trying to manipulate people and backstab? This has like been done too many times. It is a tired, tired theme. So I really wouldn't suggest reading this book. Out of five, I gave it two. I mean, if you read like five books a week like I do, it's really not gonna take you much time. How many pages is this? 300. 36 pages. I think I read it in a few like three days. Not very good. Beware that girl. It's got 3.43 stars on Goodreads. It's just you didn't care about anybody in the book. There was there was the underdog which it follows pretty much. Her name was Kate. So it's three characters. Kate, Olivia, and Mark. So Olivia is like the rich girl that's been already going to the school. Kate is a new girl that comes up in town and she's like the underdog and she like does whatever she can to get to the top. She, nothing can stop her. She even has some crappy nickname that's like obvious cockroach because cockroaches can never get killed. So of course her nickname's cockroach, right? So she like comes in and tries to like find who the like richest girl that she can manipulate is and like tries to become her best friend. And that's Olivia and it's, you could just see everything coming before it comes. It's just so predictable. Um, and then a guy, Mark, this like teacher comes in and he's supposed to be like some real cool badass that everybody thinks is so hot. But he's like a creep from the beginning, yet all these people want to be around him, but you could tell he was a creep threat from the get-go. He's like the villain, so I definitely would say don't read it unless you have a ton of time on your hands and all you're doing is reading anyway, which I do, so it really wasn't that big of a waste of time or money for me because I'm reading so much anyways. But it's good that I could just let you guys know it's a pass. So uh, yeah, beware that girl, not very good. Definitely stick with like Gone Girl or good writers like that. Teresa Toten, you lazy.